Hello there people of the internet. One thing that I like doing on this channel is I like talking about really old guns, like guns that are over a century old. And uh, I go through a lot of them. You guys have seen them plenty of times on the channel. But I'll talk about these old guns and I'll compare them to their modern counterparts based off of what they were used for back then and what we are using nowadays. And for the most part, your older things simply cannot stack up to what we have in modern day times. And then I'll have people go into the comments and they'll tell me things along the lines of this sort of rifle is based, like, like for, for example, actually, uh, the modern hunting rifle, most modern hunting rifles are based off of the Mauser Action, and the Mauser Action that we're basing it off of was made in the 1890s. Now that right there is a uh, considerably long amount of time to be able to utilize uh, one particular design or specific designs that are based off of that one design. However, in that long span time period, whereas most of our bolt-action rifles are based off of the Mauser action, we have styles of rifles nowadays that simply operate better and do better things than a bolt-action system. A lot of people will argue that bolt-actions can be more accurate than, say, a semi-automatic counterpart, but uh, I tend to disagree, especially with modern manufacturing, especially if we're comparing old stuff in comparison to new stuff but that is an argument for another topic as a matter of fact i think i've already made a video talking about exactly that so if you'd like to check that out uh, see if you can find that on the channel but i'll talk about these old school designs and i'll talk about the modern counterparts and i have the people that go through and they say hey these designs are still in use to this day we are still basing our modern stuff off of what had happened before like for example most of your tilting barrel handguns that are used for you know all sorts of defensive purposes not just here in the United States but all around the world pretty much all of them are based off of Browning's tilting barrel action because it's just the easiest most cost-effective way to be able to make uh, that style of handgun without going to like straight blowback or something like that so uh, there are ways of doing it that we've been doing it for a very very long time and those means by all means by every stretch of the imagination are the most effective most efficient way of doing that but then there's other platforms where we just have better ways to achieve the same exact thing now whenever i talk about these things normally i'll compare modern firearms like the ar or the ak and i'll compare these things to uh what they would have been compared to like i don't know a hundred a hundred years ago as a matter of fact i actually have this out here right now so may as well use this. This here is an 1892 model lever action, but between like the 1860s and the 1900s, lever actions were essentially taking the role of what the AR-15 does take the role here inside the United States uh, today. It serves as a uh, universal rifle to be able to handle most jobs that most people would need to handle. Now with the AR, we have more modularity. With the AR, we can change calibers if we feel like. With the AR, we can mount whatever sort of optic on it that we feel like. We just have benefits to that system in the modern times. But the biggest benefit to the AR platform is that it takes external magazines and that it is an automatic system to where you do not have to uh, cycle your own system manually. Now one of the big downsides to a system like this is it is of course manual and you can only load your rounds one at a time into a tube-fed magazine. In theory, you could keep this firearm running uh, basically indefinitely as long as you can cons or consistently top off your magazine by loading rounds uh, into that magazine. And uh, in theory, you could keep this loaded and running forever, but the amount of fire rate that you would get from the AR platform in comparison to something like this, it is just, it, there, there's absolutely no comparison uh, whatsoever. <clears throat> now, all of that being said, Whenever I make claims talking about older designs and comparing them to their newer counterparts, uh, I will have people go into the comments and they'll start talking about how there are more modern versions of these designs, such as, uh, such as actually lever actions. Uh, the, we, we have seen lever actions take up a more tactical role. We have seen lever actions get redesigned to fit a more modern purpose in terms of a lever action being designed with uh, say M-lock rails to where you can mount lasers and a flashlight or uh, picatinny rails on top with side ejection systems so you can mount an optic or a scope on it if you felt like 
Uh, there's uh, lever actions out there with telescoping or folding stocks. There's lever actions out there that have just taken up a more modern aesthetic and a more modern role. And whenever I bring up comparing some sort of old school design with our more modern designs, I'll have people tell me that those old school designs have a more modern twist. And for the most part, yes, they are correct on that. Uh, that is something that happens, but that does not necessarily make those old school designs better than the modern designs just because those old school designs have the modern twist on them. Like a good, uh, a, a good legitimate example of that is most people who are living in, say, restrictive states that don't allow uh, semi-automatics or anything like that will actually lean more towards a lever action so they don't have to have any kind of uh, Frankenstein uh, throw together of a compliant firearm that is semi-automatic. They can just have a standard lever action or a standard version of a platform. And although this lever action platform is not as good as the semi-automatic counterpart that they would normally want to have, <clears throat> uh, that lever action platform is something that they are allowed to have because places like that still bend to tyranny. And uh, in order to get the most out of your lever action platform, if you are rocking it in a modern day concept, you would want to have all the rails and the lights and the lasers and the optics and the systems and the stocks and just, just all of the things in your lever action to be able to viably and comfortably use that in a modern day setting whenever you cannot have an actual modern day semi-automatic firearm such as an AR or an AK. Now, whether or not people should or should not be allowed to utilize those sorts of platforms, that's an argument for another video, and uh, I always get people that go in there and they argue that as well. But although we are basing our modern stuff off of old stuff in the context of revitalizing old stuff in hopes of using it in modern day, simply because we cannot use other better options in modern day because of rules set by people who do not understand how these tools work. Because we find ourselves in situations where a lot of that is happening in these restrictive states, uh, there are people that go into the comments and say, uh, well, this right here is happening. These old designs are receiving a modern take, so they must still be good. And I, I mean, don't get me wrong, these are absolutely good, they're viable. If you were to give me a lever action, I wouldn't exactly feel undergunned. Like if this right here was my only rifle, this is a 357 Magnum lever action, I can fire 38 specials inside of it. Even in modern day, going up against semi-automatics, I still wouldn't necessarily feel all that undergunned. I wouldn't want to take it into a modern day, modern military conflict, but if this right here was something I was using in a survivalist situation, I wouldn't exactly feel uh, that I was at a disadvantage unless I was at some real significant distances. But even if I was at those real significant distances because of my eyesight and my lack of capabilities as a shooter, uh, I would still be at a disadvantage even if I had, say, a full power rifle, and that's just because of my capabilities as a shooter. So something like this would not leave me feeling underpowered. But just because the system is good does not mean that it is as good as the modern counterparts, even if we throw modern twists on it. It is all a matter of people making decisions based off of emotional reasons and people making decisions based off of trying to control the amount of power and capabilities that you have as an individual. Most of the time, whenever people select something like this or they force people to select something like this, it is because they want to prevent them from having the better options that would lend them to being more capable as an individual. Either that or people will select something like this because it is all that they know and they have no training on anything else that might be a better platform and that's probably a topic for another video that I will actually make probably after this one. I'll have to write that down so I don't forget it. Now there are some things that you could do to your older platforms to really help advance their capabilities in terms of comparing them to their modern counterparts. Like if we were to have this lever action right here and uh, we were to set it up to take, uh, I don't know, modern cartridges with a modern external magazines. Uh, I know that there are some lever actions out there that to, do take magazines, but I'm talking about like a, a standard AR mag in 223 to where you could cycle this thing non-stop for your entire 30 round capacity and there are some of those that exist out there but they're not all that reliable those would definitely need to have a little bit of attention thrown on them before I would be willing to uh, bet my life on them 
But in these restrictive states where you are stuck with a system like this, modernizing it is probably going to be the best option for that state, for that particular area, for that locale, but that is only because you do not have options to be able to get yourself more modern, more capable systems. But just because it is not the most modern, just because it is not the most capable for all aspects, does not mean that it isn't an incapable rifle. Just because there are things that are more capable, that's not me saying that this right here is incapable or enable. If I had a bunch of rounds of 357 Magnum inside of this thing and I was engaging a target at up to, I don't know, 200 yards or so, this right here would be more than adequate enough to be able to handle that job. Not exactly the fastest of follow-up shots, not exactly the easiest means of cycling through the system, and I do break my sight alignment as I cycle through that system. So although I could fire this pretty gosh darn rapidly, uh, I would not want to because that would be pretty inaccurate and reloading speeds with this would be quite slow since I have to load rounds individually uh, into our little magazine tube here. Whereas something on the AR which has significantly less recoil than this right here because it has uh, the buffer spring and whatnot inside of the system, it is an automatic system and the 223 cartridge is simply not all that powerful. It relies more on speed than, uh, than mass. Uh, I can follow up. I can get follow-up shots with that right there much, much easier than I could with a system like this. And that's just one of the things that uh, leans towards the AR platform being a more modern version, a more capable version of a firearm system that somebody would want in modern times, especially if they are going up against a another force that has access to these modern weapons as well. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hunt down that brass and see if I can see if I can find it because that stuff was reloadable. Let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of people will go into the comments and just because of the crowds that I attract with the types of content that I make, uh, a lot of people will tell me that they're running previous generation things. Uh, a lot of them will tell me I have this bolt action rifle here and that is my go-to or I have uh, this old lever action right here and that is my go-to. And like I said before, I would not feel underpowered with that. The only time where I would feel significantly underpowered with a firearm system is if I had a muzzle loader or something like that. Even if you were to hand me a single shot breech loader and a bunch of ammunition for it, I still would not necessarily feel all that underpowered with it. Uh, I just necessarily wouldn't want to go up against a squad of people who are armed with modern firearms. So you got to pick your battles with those, but I feel like I would do all right even with a single shot breech loader. So all of this being said, thank you ever so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Description below has a link to all sorts of stuff. Go check it out. You guys go off. Have yourself a fantastic day. I will see you guys on the next episode. I've done this. Body and Clyde be damned. <laughs>